African Wonders Unveiled, The Enigma of the Continent Splitting Discover the intriguing mysteries behind Africa's geological marvels. Under the Earth's solid surface lies a dynamic and ever-changing realm known as the lithosphere. This outermost layer, composed of the crust and upper mantle, is not a single, rigid structure but instead is broken into a series of large, rigid plates. These tectonic plates, like pieces of a puzzle, drift slowly across Earth's surface, driven by the intense heat and churning currents within the planet's interior. This captivating dance of plates, a phenomenon known as plate tectonics, is responsible for shaping some of Earth's most awe-inspiring features, including towering mountain ranges, deep ocean trenches, and volcanic islands. At the heart of plate tectonics lie three fundamental types of plate boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform. Convergent boundaries occur when two plates collide, leading to the formation of mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Divergent boundaries mark the separation of two plates, allowing molten rock from Earth's mantle, known as magma, to rise and cool, creating new seafloor. Transform boundaries, where plates slide past each other, are characterized by a shearing motion and are often associated with earthquakes. The formation of continents is inextricably linked to the process of plate tectonics. Over millions of years, the slow movement of plates has brought together land masses, creating vast supercontinents like Rodinia and Pangaea. These supercontinents, however, are not permanent structures. As the plates continue to dance, they eventually break apart, sending the constituent continents on their separate journeys. Today, we are in the midst of a breakup event, with the supercontinent Pangaea divided into the continents we recognize today. The ongoing separation of Africa is a prime example of this dynamic process. Along its eastern edge, the African plate is slowly tearing apart, forming a vast network of rifts and valleys known as the African Rift System. This rifting is driven by the upward movement of magma from Earth's mantle, which is causing the plate to stretch and thin. In the future, this rifting could lead to the formation of a new ocean basin, separating Africa from other land masses. Plate tectonics is a complex and fascinating phenomenon that has shaped Earth's history and continues to influence its evolution. It is a powerful reminder of the planet's dynamic nature and the interconnectedness of its geological processes. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of plate tectonics, we gain a greater understanding of our planet's past, present, and future, and its ability to surprise and amaze us with its ever-changing landscapes. Beneath the Earth's solid surface lies a dynamic realm known as the lithosphere, which is divided into seven major tectonic plates, the African Plate, the Antarctic Plate, the Eurasian Plate, the Indo-Australian Plate, the North American Plate, the Pacific Plate, and the South American Plate. These plates are like giant puzzle pieces that slowly drift across Earth's surface, driven by the intense heat and churning currents within the planet's interior. The movement of these plates is responsible for shaping many of the Earth's most notable geological features, including mountain ranges, volcanoes, and ocean basins. Africa is a continent of remarkable geological diversity, boasting a mosaic of fascinating landscapes sculpted by the forces of plate tectonics, erosion, and volcanic activity. Among its most iconic geological features are the Great Rift Valley and the East African Highlands, each offering a glimpse into the continent's dynamic history and ongoing transformation. The Great Rift Valley, a dramatic rift in the Earth's crust. The Great Rift Valley, a vast gash that extends over 6,000 kilometers 3, miles, across East Africa, stands as a testament to the continent's tectonic restlessness. This rift valley system, a result of divergent plate boundaries, is slowly tearing the African plate apart, creating a series of interconnected rifts and valleys that are home to some of the continent's most striking features. The floor of the Great Rift Valley is a mesmerizing landscape of volcanic rocks, towering escarpments, and shimmering lakes. Along its length, majestic mountains like Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro rise majestically, their peaks piercing the clouds. These mountains are young, born from the molten rock that erupts from the Earth's depths along the rift's edges. The East African Highlands, a bastion of biodiversity. The East African Highlands, an elevated plateau that encompasses the Great Rift Valley and extends beyond, is a land of dramatic contrasts. From the volcanic peaks of the Aberdares and Ruwenzori Mountains to the vast savannas of Kenya and Tanzania, the highlands offer a diverse range of habitats that support an astounding abundance of life. 
The highlands are home to a rich tapestry of plant and animal species, many of which are unique to the region. The iconic African savannas, dotted with acacia trees and teeming with grazing herbivores like zebras, wildebeests, and elephants, are a hallmark of the East African highlands. These highlands are also a geological treasure trove, harboring ancient rock formations, fossil sites, and hot springs that offer insights into the continent's past and its ongoing geological processes. The Great Rift Valley and the East African Highlands, Living Witnesses to Africa's Transformation The Great Rift Valley and the East African Highlands are not merely geological wonders, they are living witnesses to Africa's ongoing transformation. As the African plate continues to drift apart, the landscapes of these regions are constantly evolving, with new volcanic mountains emerging, lakes expanding, and landscapes shifting. These geological features provide a glimpse into the continent's dynamic past and offer insights into its future. As Africa continues to change, these landscapes will undoubtedly continue to amaze and inspire us, reminding us of the Earth's remarkable ability to create and recreate itself. Nestled within the heart of Africa lies a fascinating enigma, the continent is slowly splitting apart. This grand spectacle is not a recent phenomenon but a continuous process that has been unfolding for millions of years. The African plate, a massive slab of Earth's crust, is slowly tearing itself apart, creating a network of rifts and valleys known as the African Rift System. This rifting is driven by a dynamic interplay of geological forces, including the upward movement of magma from Earth's mantle, which is stretching and thinning the plate. The consequences of Africa's splitting apart are far-reaching and profound. Over time, this rifting could lead to the formation of a new ocean basin, separating East Africa from the rest of the continent. This would have a profound impact on the region's geography, ecology, and even human history. The Great Rift Valley and the East African Highlands are not merely passive bystanders in this geological drama, they are integral players in the process of Africa splitting apart. The rifting forces are uplifting the land, creating the highlands, and are also triggering volcanic activity, giving rise to the majestic mountains that grace the region's skyline. As Africa continues to drift apart, these geological wonders will continue to evolve and transform, providing a glimpse into the continent's dynamic and unpredictable future. We are witnessing a grand spectacle of nature, a testament to the Earth's immense power and its continuous cycle of creation and destruction. Divergent boundaries are one of three types of plate boundaries in the Earth's lithosphere. They are responsible for the formation of new crust as two plates slowly move away from each other. Divergent boundaries are commonly found along mid-ocean ridges, where new oceanic crust is created, and in continental rift valleys, where new continental crust is formed. Mechanism of Divergent Boundaries The driving force behind divergent boundaries is the upwelling of magma from the Earth's mantle. This magma, which is hotter and less dense than the surrounding rock, rises towards the surface, creating a zone of weakness in the lithosphere. As the plates move apart, this zone of weakness widens, allowing the magma to erupt and form new crust. Formation of new crust. As the magma erupts, it cools and solidifies, forming new oceanic or continental crust. In the case of mid-ocean ridges, the new crust is initially spread out in a thin sheet, but it gradually thickens as more magma is added. In the case of continental rift valleys, the new crust is thicker and more irregular, forming a series of parallel ridges and troughs. Continental rifting and the formation of new ocean basins. In some cases, continental rifting can progress to the point where the continents break apart completely. This can eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean basin as the newly formed crust continues to spread apart. The Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden are examples of rift valleys that are currently in the process of forming new ocean basins. Evidence for Divergent Boundaries There is a wealth of evidence to support the existence of divergent boundaries. This evidence includes The Mid-Ocean Ridge System The Mid-Ocean Ridge System is a global network of underwater mountain ranges that marks the location of most divergent boundaries. The ridge system is characterized by its high topography, seismic activity, and volcanic eruptions. Continental Rift Valleys Continental Rift Valleys are another type of divergent boundary that occurs on land. These valleys are characterized by their deep, narrow topography, volcanic activity, and earthquakes. GPS measurements GPS measurements have shown that the plates are moving apart at divergent boundaries. For example, the African plate is moving away from the Arabian plate at a rate of about 2 centimeters per year. 
Magnetic reversals. The Earth's magnetic field has reversed itself many times over the course of history. The pattern of these reversals can be seen in the magnetic stripes that are formed on the floor of the ocean basins. These stripes provide evidence that the plates have been moving apart for millions of years. Divergent boundaries are a dynamic and fascinating part of Earth's geological processes. They are responsible for shaping the planet's surface and creating new land masses. As we continue to study these boundaries, we gain a better understanding of the Earth's past, present, and future. The African Rift System is a vast network of faults and fractures that extends across East Africa, spanning over 6,000 kilometers, 3,700 miles, from the Afar Triple Junction in Ethiopia to Mozambique. This remarkable geological feature is a testament to the continent's ongoing tectonic transformation as the African plate is slowly tearing itself apart, creating a series of interconnected rifts and valleys. Structure and Formation the African rift system is not a single, continuous rift, but rather a complex patchwork of distinct rift valleys and branches. The two main branches are the Eastern Rift Valley, also known as the Gregory Rift, and the Western Rift Valley, also known as the Albertine Rift. The Eastern Rift Valley is the older and more active of the two branches, extending from the Afar Triple Junction southward through Kenya, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. It is characterized by its deep, narrow topography, volcanic activity, and high rate of uplift. The Western Rift Valley is younger and less active, spanning from Rwanda and Burundi through Uganda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Zambia. It is also known for its numerous lakes, including Lake Tanganyika, the second deepest lake in the world. Driving Forces of Rifting The ongoing rifting of the African Plate is driven by a complex interplay of geological forces, primarily the upward movement of magma from Earth's mantle. As this magma rises, it causes the overlying crust to stretch and thin. This stretching and thinning, in turn, create weakness in the crust, allowing it to break apart along fault lines. In addition to magma upwelling, other factors that contribute to Africa's rifting include Secular cooling of the Earth. As the Earth cools, the mantle becomes less buoyant, causing the lithosphere to subside and the crust to stretch. Convergence of other plates, the movement of other tectonic plates around Africa, such as the Arabian plate, can also contribute to the tension and stretching of the African plate. Consequences of rifting The ongoing rifting of the African plate is having a profound impact on the region's geology, ecology, and human communities. Some of the key consequences include Volcanic activity, the rifting process is triggering volcanic eruptions, giving rise to numerous volcanoes along the rift valleys. These volcanoes, such as Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro, are young and active, shaping the landscape and providing a source of geothermal energy. Formation of new lakes. As the rift valleys deepen and widen, they are creating a network of new lakes, many of which are among the largest and deepest in Africa. These lakes provide habitat for a diverse range of aquatic life and support important fishing communities. Uplift of mountains and highlands, the rifting forces are lifting the land, creating elevated plateaus and mountains. The East African highlands, which encompass the Great Rift Valley, are a prime example of this uplift. These highlands are home to a rich biodiversity and support important watersheds. Potential for earthquakes, the fault lines associated with the rift system are seismically active and there is a risk of earthquakes in the region. While these earthquakes can cause damage, they also provide opportunities for the exploration of geothermal energy resources. Future Implications The future of the African rift system remains uncertain. Over time, the rifting could progress to the point where the African plate completely breaks apart, forming a new ocean basin. This would have a profound impact on the region's geography, ecology, and human history. However, the exact timing and extent of this rifting are difficult to predict due to the complex interplay of geological forces involved. As the African rift system continues to evolve, it will continue to fascinate and challenge scientists and explorers. This dynamic geological feature is a testament to the Earth's ever-changing nature and its capacity to surprise and amaze us with its resilience and creativity. The evidence for Africa's ongoing separation is extensive and compelling, including GPS measurements, seismic activity, and geological observations. GPS measurements. Global Positioning System GPS, technology has revolutionized our ability to measure the movement of tectonic plates. 
By tracking the positions of GPS stations over time, scientists have been able to precisely measure the rate at which the African plate is moving apart. This data shows that the African plate is currently moving away from the Arabian plate at a rate of about 2 cm per year. Seismic activity The African rift system is a seismically active region, and earthquakes are a common occurrence. These earthquakes are caused by the movement of faults and fractures along the rift valleys. The frequency and intensity of earthquakes in the region provide further evidence of the ongoing rifting process. Geological observations Geological observations also provide strong evidence for Africa's ongoing separation. In the region around the Afar Triple Junction, where the African, Arabian, and Somali plates converge, there is a dramatic thinning of the crust. This thinning is caused by the stretching and pulling of the plates as they move apart. In addition to these three lines of evidence, there are other pieces of evidence that support the ongoing separation of Africa, such as the formation of new lakes along the rift valleys as the rifts deepen and widen, the uplift of mountains and highlands as the rifting forces lift the land, the presence of young volcanoes along the rift valleys, which are formed by the upwelling of magma from the Earth's mantle. Taken together, this evidence provides overwhelming support for the conclusion that Africa is indeed in the process of splitting apart. The exact timing and extent of this rifting are still uncertain, but the process has been underway for millions of years and is likely to continue for many more. Over time, this rifting could lead to the formation of a new ocean basin, separating East Africa from the rest of the continent. Africa's ongoing separation is primarily driven by two main tectonic forces, the upwelling of magma from Earth's mantle and the secular cooling of the planet. Magma upwelling At the heart of Africa lies a plume of hot, buoyant magma rising from the Earth's mantle. This plume, known as the African Superplume, is responsible for the formation of the African Rift System. As the magma rises, it stretches and thins the overlying crust, weakening it and allowing it to break apart along fault lines. The upwelling of magma is a complex process that is driven by a combination of factors, including mantle convection, heat from Earth's core drives the movement of molten rock, magma, within the mantle. This movement, known as mantle convection, creates currents that carry magma towards the surface. Secular cooling, as the Earth cools over time, the mantle becomes denser and less buoyant. This change in density can cause the mantle to subside, stretching the crust above. Secular cooling of the Earth Alongside the upwelling of magma, the secular cooling of the Earth also plays a role in Africa's rifting. As the Earth cools, the mantle becomes less buoyant, causing the lithosphere to subside and the crust to stretch. This stretching, in turn, creates weakness in the crust, allowing it to break apart along fault lines. The rate of secular cooling is slow, but it is a continuous process that has been ongoing for billions of years. Over time, this cooling has contributed to the stretching and thinning of the African plate, setting the stage for the ongoing rifting. Combined Effects of Tectonic Forces The interplay of magma upwelling and secular cooling creates a dynamic environment that is driving the rifting of Africa. The upwelling magma provides the force that stretches and thins the crust, while the secular cooling weakens the crust and makes it more susceptible to fracturing. As the rifting process continues, the African plate is likely to continue to break apart, potentially forming a new ocean basin in the future. This would have a profound impact on the region's geography, ecology, and human history. The ongoing rifting of Africa is a testament to the Earth's dynamic geological processes and its ever-changing nature. As scientists continue to study this process, they gain a deeper understanding of our planet's past, present, and future. The ongoing rifting of the African plate has the potential to lead to a number of significant consequences, including the creation of new oceans and the formation of volcanic islands. Creation of New Oceans The most dramatic potential consequence of Africa splitting apart is the formation of a new ocean basin. As the African plate continues to move apart, the rift valleys will deepen and widen, eventually forming a continuous ocean between East Africa and the rest of the continent. This process is likely to take millions of years, but it is a possibility that cannot be ruled out. The formation of a new ocean would have a profound impact on the region's geography, ecology, and human history. It would create new coastlines, new islands, and new marine ecosystems. It would also affect the climate and rainfall patterns of the region. Formation of Volcanic Islands The rifting process is also triggering volcanic activity, giving rise to numerous volcanoes along the rift valleys. 
These volcanoes, such as Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro, are young and active, shaping the landscape and providing a source of geothermal energy. In some cases, the magma that rises from the Earth's mantle can flow into the ocean, forming new volcanic islands. This process is already underway in the Red Sea, where the Arabian Plate is moving away from Africa. Over time, it is possible that new volcanic islands could also form along the African Rift System. Other potential consequences In addition to the creation of new oceans and volcanic islands, the ongoing rifting of Africa could also have other potential consequences, including Uplift of mountains and highlands The rifting forces are lifting the land, creating elevated plateaus and mountains. The East African Highlands, which encompass the Great Rift Valley, are a prime example of this uplift. Formation of new lakes As the rift valleys deepen and widen, they are creating a network of new lakes, many of which are among the largest and deepest in Africa. These lakes provide habitat for a diverse range of aquatic life and support important fishing communities. Increased seismic activity The fault lines associated with the rift system are seismically active, and there is a risk of earthquakes in the region. While these earthquakes can cause damage, they also provide opportunities for the exploration of geothermal energy resources. The ongoing rifting of Africa is a complex and fascinating phenomenon with the potential to have a significant impact on the continent and its inhabitants. As the rifting process continues, it will be important to monitor its progress and adapt to the potential consequences. Africa's ongoing rifting process has the potential to significantly impact the distribution of resources and the lives of people living in the region. Implications for resource distribution The rifting of Africa could lead to the discovery of new mineral deposits, as the upwelling of magma from the Earth's mantle brings to the surface previously buried materials. These newly discovered resources could bring economic benefits to the countries in which they are found, potentially leading to increased prosperity and development. However, it is important to manage these resources responsibly and ensure that they benefit all of society, rather than a select few. The rifting process could also alter the distribution of existing resources, such as water and fertile land. As the rift valleys deepen and widen, they may divert existing water sources or create new ones. This could lead to changes in agricultural productivity and water availability, potentially affecting the livelihoods of communities that rely on these resources. Implications for human life The ongoing rifting of Africa could have significant implications for the lives of people living in the region. The movement of tectonic plates can cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which can pose risks to human settlements and infrastructure. It is important to develop early warning systems and disaster preparedness plans to mitigate the impact of these hazards. The rifting process could also lead to changes in landscapes, climates, and ecosystems. These changes could affect the availability of food, water, and other resources, potentially putting pressure on local communities to adapt their livelihoods. However, the rifting process could also open up new opportunities for development, such as tourism and renewable energy. Overall, the implications of Africa's rifting for the distribution of resources and the lives of people living in the region are complex and far-reaching. It is important to carefully consider these implications and develop strategies to manage the potential risks and harness the opportunities presented by this geological process. Here are some specific examples of how Africa's rifting could impact the lives of people living in the region. New water sources, as the rift valleys deepen and widen, they may create new lakes and rivers, which could provide new sources of water for drinking, irrigation, and hydropower. This could benefit communities that are currently facing water scarcity. New mineral deposits, the upwelling of magma from the Earth's mantle could bring to the surface new deposits of minerals, such as gold, diamonds, and copper. This could create economic opportunities for mining companies and generate revenue for governments. Changes in agricultural productivity, the movement of tectonic plates could divert or alter existing water sources, potentially affecting agricultural productivity in some areas. This could lead to food shortages and social unrest if not properly managed. Increased seismic activity, the fault lines associated with the rift system are seismically active, and there is a risk of earthquakes. These earthquakes could damage infrastructure and homes, and could lead to loss of life. The specific impacts of Africa's rifting will vary depending on the location and the specific geological features of the region. It is important to monitor the progress of the rifting process and develop mitigation strategies to address the potential risks. 
Africa is currently undergoing a geological phenomenon known as rifting, where the African plate is slowly tearing itself apart. This rifting is driven by the interplay of two main tectonic forces, the upwelling of magma from Earth's mantle and the secular cooling of the planet. Magma Upwelling At the heart of Africa lies a magma plume, known as the African Superplume, rising from the Earth's mantle. As this magma rises, it stretches and thins the overlying crust, weakening it and allowing it to break apart along fault lines. Secular Cooling of the Earth As the Earth cools over time, the mantle becomes less buoyant, causing the lithosphere to subside and the crust to stretch. This stretching, in turn, creates weakness in the crust, allowing it to break apart along fault lines. Evidence for Africa's splitting apart The ongoing rifting of Africa is supported by extensive evidence, including GPS measurements, GPS technology has shown that the African plate is moving away from the Arabian plate at a rate of about 2 cm per year. Seismic activity, the African rift system is a seismically active region, and earthquakes are a common occurrence. Geological observations, geological observations show that the crust is thinning in the region around the Afar Triple Junction, where the African, Arabian, and Somali plates converge. Potential consequences of Africa splitting apart. The ongoing rifting of Africa has the potential to lead to a number of significant consequences, including Creation of a new ocean basin As the African plate continues to move apart, the rift valleys will deepen and widen, eventually forming a continuous ocean between East Africa and the rest of the continent. Formation of volcanic islands The rifting process is also triggering volcanic activity, giving rise to numerous volcanoes along the rift valleys. Uplift of mountains and highlands, the rifting forces are lifting the land, creating elevated plateaus and mountains. Formation of new lakes, as the rift valleys deepen and widen, they are creating a network of new lakes, many of which are among the largest and deepest in Africa. Increased seismic activity, the fault lines associated with the rift system are seismically active, and there is a risk of earthquakes. Impact of Africa's rifting on human life. The ongoing rifting of Africa could have significant implications for the lives of people living in the region, both positive and negative. Potential benefits include the discovery of new mineral resources, the creation of new water sources, and the potential for tourism and renewable energy development. However, there are also potential risks, such as earthquakes, changes in water availability, and disruptions to agriculture. Overall, Africa's rifting is a complex and dynamic geological process that has the potential to shape the continent's future. It is important to carefully consider the potential benefits and risks of this process and to develop strategies to manage and mitigate the potential negative impacts. Earth is a dynamic and ever-changing planet, constantly undergoing a series of geological processes that shape its landscape, from the depths of the mantle to the peaks of the highest mountains. These processes, driven by immense forces within the planet's interior, are responsible for creating the vast oceans, towering mountains, and diverse ecosystems that we know today. At the core of Earth's geological activity lies plate tectonics, a grand dance of massive plates that float on the planet's molten mantle. These plates are constantly moving, colliding, and tearing apart, forming and reforming the Earth's crust. Continents drift across the globe, oceans open and close, and mountains rise and erode. The ongoing rifting of Africa, for instance, exemplifies the ceaseless transformation of our planet. The African plate is slowly tearing itself apart, driven by the upward flow of magma from the Earth's mantle. This process is creating the dramatic rift valleys of East Africa, with their towering volcanoes and shimmering lakes. Over time, the rifting could lead to the formation of a new ocean basin, separating East Africa from the rest of the continent. Even within the depths of the Earth, geological processes are at work. Magma, the molten rock from the mantle, rises through cracks and fissures, cooling and solidifying to form new layers of crust. This process is constantly renewing the planet's surface, creating new mountains, islands, and landforms. Earth's geological processes are not merely passive forces, they are intimately connected to the planet's life. Volcanic eruptions release nutrients and gases that nourish ecosystems, while earthquakes and landslides create new habitats and pathways for organisms. The ever-changing landscape of our planet is a dynamic tapestry of life, sculpted by the forces within Earth's fiery depths. The ongoing nature of Earth's geological processes reminds us that our planet is not a static, unchanging entity. It is a living, breathing world, constantly evolving and adapting to the forces that shape it. 
We humans are part of this intricate and dynamic system, and our actions have the power to influence the future of our planet's geological processes. By understanding and respecting these processes, we can make informed decisions that will protect our planet and its inhabitants for generations to come. Understanding plate tectonics, the grand dance of massive plates that shape our planet's crust, is crucial for predicting future geological events and preparing for their potential impacts. By comprehending the underlying mechanisms that drive these processes, we can anticipate their occurrences, assess their risks, and take proactive measures to mitigate their consequences. Predicting earthquakes. Earthquakes, a consequence of plate interactions, can cause significant damage and loss of life. Understanding plate tectonics allows scientists to identify areas of high seismic activity where tectonic plates are colliding or rubbing against each other. This knowledge enables them to develop early warning systems that can alert communities of impending earthquakes, providing them with precious time to evaluate and take precautionary measures. Anticipating volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions, another product of plate tectonics, can also pose significant hazards. By studying the distribution of volcanoes and the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface, scientists can identify regions prone to volcanic activity. This understanding enables them to monitor volcanic activity closely, providing early warnings of potential eruptions and allowing for evacuations and preventive measures. Assessing Landslide Risk Landslides, a common consequence of tectonic plate movements and other geological processes, can disrupt infrastructure and endanger lives. Understanding the geological conditions that contribute to landslides, such as fault lines, steep slopes, and permeable soils, allows for better land use planning and construction practices, reducing the risk of landslides and protecting communities from their destructive power. Preparing for tsunamis and coastal hazards. Tsunamis, waves generated by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides, can devastate coastal communities. By understanding plate tectonics and the factors that trigger tsunamis, scientists can develop early warning systems and coastal hazard maps, allowing for evacuations and disaster preparedness. Managing Volcanic Hazards and Resource Potential Knowledge of plate tectonics is also essential for managing volcanic hazards and harnessing the potential of volcanic resources. Understanding volcanic hazards helps communities develop mitigation strategies, such as early warning systems and building codes, to protect lives and infrastructure. Additionally, understanding volcanic processes and the composition of volcanic rocks can lead to the discovery of valuable mineral resources, such as gold, silver, and copper, protecting infrastructure and reducing impacts. In conclusion, understanding plate tectonics is a cornerstone of predicting future geological events and preparing for their potential impacts. By comprehending the forces that shape our planet and the mechanisms that drive geological processes, we can anticipate hazards, protect communities, and harness the potential of these processes for the benefit of humanity. Africa, a continent teeming with life, cultural diversity, and breathtaking natural wonders, also holds a wealth of fascinating geological mysteries waiting to be unraveled. From the ancient rift valleys that are slowly tearing the continent apart to the volcanic peaks that pierce the sky, Africa's geological landscape is a testament to the planet's dynamic forces. Unveiling the Rift Valleys The Great Rift Valley, a colossal natural wonder stretching across East Africa, is a vivid reminder of Earth's ongoing transformation. This Rift Valley system, formed by the divergence of the African Plate, is home to a mesmerizing array of volcanoes, lakes, and unique ecosystems. Explore the depths of the active Ngorongoro Crater, a volcanic caldera teeming with wildlife, or witness the majestic Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Africa, rising majestically above the Rift Valley floor. Venturing into Volcanic Wonderlands Africa's volcanic landscapes offer a glimpse into the fiery heart of our planet. Mount Nyiragongo, a volcano in the Democratic Republic of Congo, is renowned for its frequent lava flows, providing a rare opportunity to witness the molten rock's mesmerizing power. Venture into the Danakil Depression, a volcanic basin in Ethiopia, to stand amidst otherworldly landscapes of bubbling mud pools and fumaroles that release noxious gases. Exploring the African Rift Superplume Deep beneath the African continent lies the African superplume, a massive upwelling of hot mantle material that is thought to be the driving force behind Africa's rifting. This enigmatic plume, the largest known on Earth, is responsible for the formation of the Great Rift Valley and the creation of new volcanic islands in the Red Sea, unraveling the geological mysteries of Africa. 
As you delve into Africa's geological wonders, you'll uncover a rich tapestry of mysteries waiting to be solved. Why is the African plate splitting apart? What role does the African superplume play in shaping the continent's landscape? What impact will the ongoing rifting have on the future of Africa's ecosystems and human communities? Embark on a journey of discovery and explore the fascinating mysteries of Africa's geological landscapes. Let the continent's dynamic forces ignite your curiosity and inspire you to delve deeper into the Earth's remarkable story. As you marvel at the awe-inspiring beauty of Africa's landscapes, remember that these wonders are not static but rather dynamic expressions of the Earth's ever-changing processes. The ongoing rifting of the African plate, the explosive eruptions of its volcanoes, and the ancient uplift of its mountains are all testaments to the planet's dynamic nature. So, I ask you, dear viewers, are you ready to embark on a journey of discovery and unravel the fascinating mysteries that lie beneath the surface of Africa? Will you explore the depths of the Great Rift Valley, climb the peaks of Africa's volcanic giants, and delve into the enigmatic depths of the African superplume? Join me as we explore the wonders of Africa and unlock the secrets of our planet's geological past, present, and future. Remember, we're all part of this journey together. Let's keep exploring, learning, and growing. Until next time, stay curious and keep spreading those positive vibes. Thanks for joining in. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, and hit subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way.